Sicilian Defense, Open, Dragon, Razor Variation, 9, NXD4 10.BXD4 B6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game was messy, but White got the better of it. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. B3 supports the strong d4 knight in the center. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. It is best. F3 supports the e4 pawn and prepares to develop the dark squared bishop to e3 and the queen to d2, a common attacking setup versus fianchetto systems. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Qd2 develops the queen, defends the bishop on e3 and prepares to castle queenside. Nc6 develops the knight, attacks the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. Queenside castling gets the king out of the center, activates the rook and seeks to start an attack on the king's side. Nx d4 exchanges black c6 knight for white centralized knight. Bx d4 recaptures the knight and puts the bishop on a powerful diagonal. B6 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the a2 g8 diagonal. It is the last book move. That's a decent move. That's good. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It falls flat. Equality is within reach but this move doesn't get there. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to connect rooks. It is a miss. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. By doing this, an X-ray attack is sent through two of the adversary's pieces. It is ideal. This poses a knight-winning threat. It is incorrect. The piece both makes a capture and defends a newly threatened piece. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is quite good. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game was messy, but white got the better of it. 